one more thing. Hey guitar fans, Pat Donahue here at Willie's American Guitars in St. Paul, Minnesota. And uh, how about some guitar stuff today? I've got a couple of little jazzy blues chords to show you. Some chord shapes that people use all the time. and They sound a little advanced, but they're really not. So let me just show you what's going on. When you hear a blues in G, for instance, and you hear this. That's a, those two, there's just two chord shapes I want to show you. And one is a, uh, down here in the key of G, we would play it like this. You can get a close up. You may have seen this chord played in different con uh, contexts, but in this context, it's a, it's a non root G9. So I'm just calling it a G7 for short. Anyway, it's fourth fret, excuse me, second fret, third fret, second fret, third fret. It's like a little trapezoidal shape on the interior strings. So, and it, it, there's no G in that chord, even though it's a G9, it's a non root G9. So you don't really play, it's a good note, chord to play if you're playing with others, you know. So what I was doing is a little blues trick of sliding two frets above, and then back in. Try not to rip your calluses off there, but uh, into a regular G maybe. And you can use that for all three chords. Uh, the C, the four chord in the blues, being up here, C7 at the eighth fret. This now would be at the seventh and eighth fret, seven, eight, seven, eight. Same shape. Same trick, that's for C. There's no root in that one either. And the third chord in the blues would be D, which is two frets up from C, so you'd take this and go to the ninth and tenth fret, nine, ten, nine, ten. That'll be your D ninth. So let me run through that again now that you know that. Here's G, here's C, back to G, back to C, back to G, and then we're going to go to the D. Same shape all the way through. To C, and back to G. one more thing. That's a lot of this. So, what is great about the guitar is any of these interior chord, string chords, like say this one here, if we were in the C here, we'd go way up here for it from G. We've got these notes. And the miracle of string transference on the guitar, which is one of its greatest assets, is that any of these notes can be played over a set of strings and down that way. And what it works, looks, looks like on the set of first four strings is this. Excuse me. That's the fourth string, second fret, and I've got my ring finger just flopped over the first three strings at the third fret. And you have, if you don't recognize a C9 chord like that, maybe you do, maybe not, but that's a C root that really isn't in this shape that I'm using. But I moved that from here to here. Same exact notes. So now when I change chords, there's the G9, here's the C9. And the D9, of course, is two frets up from the C9 here. That's the fifth, excuse me, fourth, fifth, fifth, fifth. C9 and G9. You can play through a few, uh, just a chorus here. If you like this, please uh, uh, donate to the Second Harvest Heartland. Uh, they're still struggling and need your help. People are, are hungry and man, it's cold here. It's 19 below this morning when I woke up, which is why I got my twins hat on uh, because I'm ready for some baseball. All right, play your guitar. We'll see you next time.